So today was the update for Azure Lane. We got a new HMS event. It is also the Halloween update, so we got some Halloween themed skins too. But most importantly, the update came with four new ships. So let's take a look at them and see what they do. Starting with HMS Janus. Now personally, I don't think destroyers are very good. A lot of the times you can use a cruiser that accomplishes the same thing, except cruisers are way more reliably tanky. So I pretty much only use destroyers in World 14, and I don't expect an SR destroyer to change that. Looking at her stats, they are above average. And then her skills basically scream World 14. First skill provides a lot of buffs for herself and other Royal Navy DDs. She works well with other J-Class DDs, and I think particularly well with her sister Jervis. Her second skill provides a barrage that increases damage enemies take from your DDs and CLs. The fails, it reveals enemy subs. So yeah, probably only using her in World 14. In terms of waifuness, well, I'm much more into the big booba onesan types. So destroyers being the small ones just aren't my type. But speaking of big booba onesans, our next ship is HMS Albion. She is an SR Royal Navy Centaur class light aircraft carrier. Now, light aircraft carriers are usually more support oriented. So my initial thoughts were that she was gonna be a power crept version of her sister Centaur. And Centaur herself is still a pretty strong buffer. Stats are about what you expect. Decent aviation and reload, but lacking in terms of HP. And someone can fact check me on this, but I think Centaur class light aircraft carriers are the only ones that actually get 3 plane slots. Cause most light aircraft carriers only get 2, with the 3rd slot being anti-air. This means she doesn't sacrifice damage in that regard. Looking at her skills though, changes things quite a bit. Her first skill fires an additional airstrike that detects and hits subs, so... World 14? Her second skill provides some simple yet powerful stat boosts. The third skill is very interesting though, increasing the main fleet's max detection gauge and essentially turning overheals in your vanguards into barriers. I think it's very nice defensive utility for World 14. So now the two ships we covered are geared towards helping you clear World 14. Hmm. The next ship is HMS Manchester. She's an elite light cruiser, so I don't expect anything. Very rarely are they worth using over an SR. Here are her stats and skills, and nothing stands out. Just your average elite ship. I still want to pull for it though, because she has the tried and true English mate theme going on. It's been popular, it still is popular, and it will remain popular. Like, how can you say no to a maid? And of course, I saved the best and most interesting ship for last, Royal Fortune. My first impression of her was, oh, Royal Navy Vanguard ship that looks like Ina from Hololive? But now I realized that I was entirely wrong. First of all, the only thing she and Ina have in common are the tentacles in the book. Everything else is different. Their color schemes are different, their chest size isn't even close. She's also not Royal Navy. My brain just assumed she was because, you know, Royal Navy event, she has royal in her name. But nope, she is part of a new faction called Tempesta. She is also a new ship type, the Sailing Frigate. I thought it would be a vanguard ship, but she's actually part of the submarine fleet. The difference is submarines stay submerged while entering battle while she instantly resurfaces and starts blasting away. Which thematically feels really cool. Like having an old sunken pirate ship rise from the depths of the sea to do battle once again. That's pretty badass. She is tankier than subs, which makes sense since she has to resurface instantly. Also, she scales off firepower with equipment unique to her. Her skills amplify this by providing her more firepower and damage reduction. Whether she's good or not, I honestly can't say. There's nothing to really compare her to since she's the first of her kind. But also, submarine fleets are kinda just extra. You can clear everything in the game just fine without them. If anything, their biggest use is in, once again, World 14. 
everyone will get a free copy of her as long as you play the event. And I'm sure many people, myself included, will level her with extra materials simply because she's so new and I'm sure we're all curious what she can do. And that's all for the new ships. Before ending the video, we'll also take a quick look at the new Halloween skins. All the new ships got them and good old Oklahoma got one as well. These are very nice skins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the two that stand out to me surprisingly are Janus and Oklahoma's. I know I said before I wasn't a big fan of destroyers, but the cat ear changes things quite a bit. And Oklahoma's, well, I just like pirates. <laughs>